Turning now to a breaking news alert. Gun violence at a West Side shopping plaza sends one person to the hospital and another to JSO headquarters for questioning. It happened around 8 tonight inside the Walmart shopping plaza on Collins Road. And that's where our News for Jacks reporter Eric Avignier is joining us live to explain what happened. Eric. Yes, the shooting happened here in the parking lot right in front of the cell phone repair shop, which is located right next door to that Jersey Mike's. When officers arrived on scene, they found one gunshot victim on the ground, but that is not all they found. Uh, right next to the man who was shot was a knife uh, that is now considered a piece of evidence. Although a witness says the man appears to have been shot in the face, JSO says the man has non-life-threatening injuries. The person who is believed to have shot the man remained at the scene until police arrived and he, that person was taken into custody. Right now, that person is being questioned at JSO headquarters. So far, no charges have been filed against that person. If we could bring it back here live, when I just uh, just within the last couple of minutes, we just learned uh, that this car right here uh, was is somehow involved in that shooting. We just just seconds ago, or so I say minutes ago, uh, we saw uh, J Jacksonville police uh, detectives, obviously, and crime scene technicians taking pictures of this vehicle, which remains inside uh, this crime scene area. Uh, I did I also want to point out one other thing. Uh, during the briefing, I asked uh, Jacksonville police officers if this shooting may have been uh, a, a form of self-defense. I was told that it was too early in the investigation for them to make that determination. Of course, as soon as we get more information on this, we will post that information on our website, newsforjax.com. Reporting live from the west side, Eric Avignier, Channel 4, The Local Station.